Hey guys, the question we have here this evening is how do we find a percentage of a number? Okay, so there are some basic rules I'm going to go through real quick. Um, if we look for 100% of a number, right, 100% of anything, of any number, just equals that number. Okay, it's the same number. So 100% of, say, 93 equals 93 okay not too difficult the next one that we typically think of and I'm breaking these down to percentages that we normally deal with um, constantly these are um, kind of like coins if you will if you if you think of coins um, we deal with you know some have dollar coins 50 cent coins 25 cent pieces 10 pieces 10 uh, dimes nickels uh, and, and, and pennies and that sort so that's kind of how we're going to break this down uh, fifty percent of a number of any number is just one half of that number so it just equals one half of the number so we just divide by two right so example fifty percent of let's say eighty equals forty I just take eighty and divide it by two because it's half that number okay twenty five percent of a number It's going to be a quarter of that number, right? It's one fourth of the number. It's a quarter percent. It's 20, Twenty-five percent is one fourth of that number. Okay. Another way of thinking about that is this: you take a number divided by four. So again, I have let's say I pick a different number other than eighty. Let's pick uh, sixty. So twenty-five percent of sixty is going to equal fifteen. And how do I know that? Well, I know that this is one fourth. One fourth is sixty, or sixty divided by four equals fifteen. The next biggest one that we normally deal with on a daily on a daily basis is ten percent. So ten percent of a number is just one tenth of that number, or divided by ten. Now. For some, that might be difficult. Some people might have a difficult time dividing 10, okay? Just like how we would multiply by 10. If I multiply by 10, I just add a zero, right? We talk, if you were to take, say, um, let me go down here, let me let me get to a different, so I, I don't run this up here, so let's say, uh, I don't know, 10 times 38, right? 10 times 38 is 380. I just add a zero to the end of that, right? 10 times 5.6. 10 times 5.6 is 56. Right? Because I multiply by 10 and I move it to the right one time. Just like here, I move it one time to the right to make it 380. Right? Make it 380. So what we're doing here is if I divide, instead of multiplying by 10, I divide by 10. Instead of going to the right one time, I move it to the right one time. So an example would be, let's say I'm looking for one-tenth or ten percent, I should say, of 125. Okay, all I'm going to do is start where the decimal point is right now and just move it to the left one time. So I'm going to move this to the left one time and I'm going to get 12.5. So my answer is going to be 12.5. So all you do is move it to the, one, to the left one time. Okay, five percent. Five percent is um, not as easy, but it's almost as easy as as ten percent. Um, if you can get ten percent, you can get five percent. Okay, so five percent of any number is basically half of ten percent, right? Of any number, of a number, right? So. Example, if I said, what's 5% of, let's take, um, let's do 80. Let's go, let's use that one. So 5% of 80 is what? Well, I know that 10% is going to equal 8, right? So why not I just divide by 2? If I divide by 2, if I take half of that, that's 5%. 5% is going to equal 4. So that means, that's what that means. So 5% of 80 is going to be 4. 
because 10 is 8. If 10 is 8, right? 10 is 8, cut that in half, that's 4, so that's 5%. And last but not least is 1%, 1 of any number is very similar to 10%. Instead of moving it to the left, one time you move it to the left two times, okay? So 1%, if you remember, is a fraction, is 1 over 100. Basically dividing by 100, you see there's two, two zeros, you're dividing by 100, so you're going to move it to the left two places. If you divide by 1,000, you move to the left three places. You divide by 10,000, you move to the left four places. Okay, so we're just moving it two places because we're dividing by 100. So it could be, so example would be, say, I'm trying to find 1% of mm, 1,200. Okay. So 1% of 1,200 would be, well, let's see, it starts here, move it to the left two times, 1, 2 is going to be 12. That's 1%. Now, in most books, they teach you, so this is mental math. So a lot of times what they do is they teach you how to find uh, percentages, basically just multiply. So for example, let's say I want to find 35% of 60. All right? So instead of using this mental math, they're going to have you multiply 60 times 35%, which in this case, as a decimal, is 0.35. And then you just multiply, add it together, and then you're done. Equals 4.8, or 4.80, or 4 and 8 tenths, or 4 and 80 hundredths, however you want to say it. All right? But you can also use mental math. 10%, remember, 10% is 6, right? Right, that's ten percent. So ten percent equals six. You got three of those, right? Because that's thirty percent, correct? What's half of six? What's that other five percent that you need for thirty-five percent? That's three. Add them up. Six, six plus six plus six is eighteen. Eighteen plus three is twenty-one, right? So I must have done something wrong. Hmm. Weird. I got twenty-one. Oh. <laughs> I think I might have known what I did wrong here. So, 0, 30, 0, yeah, that's what happened. I forgot to add the other 0. So, yeah, that's, I'm glad I checked my own work here. Even on YouTube, I can be wrong. So, what happened here is I multiplied that wrong. So, the answer is 21. That is the answer. So, my mental math was better than my actual math. Crazy, huh? So, what happened here was 5 times 0 is 0, 5 times 6 is 30. Add a zero, three times zero, okay, so that's supposed to be zero, this is supposed to be eight, and this is supposed to be one, so I messed up there. So that's going to be zero, zero, one, one, two, twenty-one. So wow, I messed that up. So twenty-one, I'm glad I checked that. But basically, you can see how my mental math helped me out. So this is, again, just a quick lesson on how do you find a percentage of a number. If you go by this route, if you know that 100% is just that number, 50% is half of it, 25%, take that number, divide by 4, 10%, move the decimal point to the left one time, 5%, find 10% first, and then just cut that in half, 1%, move it to, to the left two places, you're good. Because everything else is based off of, that, uh, off of those rules. If you can remember those basic concepts, you can do this mentally. You can just find, like, for 35%, Find 10% times it by 3, and divide that, that second one in half, and you'll get the uh, that 5%. You can add them all up. Hopefully this was helpful. I know this is kind of a long video, but uh, God bless, and I will see you guys later.